Okay, we're back. This is the way the square should look. Let's see if I can get it good in the camera. There we go. Alright, so this is the way the square should look. It is a very, um, um, it's a bumpy, you know. So this would be another good pattern to use for um, scrubbies, like using the scrubby yarn. Um, this would be another good pattern to use for washcloths, especially when you're doing dishes. Um, so I really, really love the texture of this, this pattern. So I went ahead and I connected my white yarn um, to, to my square. And I'm going to chain one and we're going to turn. Turn your square. And we're just going to put a single crochet in every chain across. Now, or every chain, every stitch. There is a chain one in between these stitches that you got to make sure you put a single crochet in. All right, so the next one's a stitch, the next one's a chain one. So make sure that you're not skipping over those chain ones because they count as stitches in this pattern. So we're putting a single crochet in every stitch around. Across to the corner. There you go. Alright, until we get to the last stitch. In the last stitch, you're going to put two single crochet, chain two, and two single crochet in there. Alright, now we're going to go down the side here. You're going to put one single crochet in every row one single crochet at the end of every row. And in this pattern, they're pretty easy to see. There's holes right there. There's one there. I don't know if... You can see this. So... Let me get to the right. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Alright, so you could see my stitches. Now, when you get down to the end of this one, there's this stitch right here. We're going to put two single crochet in that corner, chain two, and two single crochet. Make sure a single crochet is in not slit stitches. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to put a single crochet in every stitch across this way.
All right, and in this last stitch here, again, two single crochet, chain two, and two single crochet in there. And then we're going up the side again with one, one single crochet in each of the, at the end of each row. And in this last one up here, we're going to put two double crochet, chain two, and then we need one more double crochet there because we already put the one double single, single crochets, not doubles, because we already put that one in that, that stitch. So what we are going to do next is we are going to slip stitch in the front loop loosely go to the front loop right there and slip stitch very loosely in the front loop of every stitch. And that will be all the way around the square. When you get to the corner, you're going to skip over this chain two and go to the next stitch and go in the front loop. And if you want to, you can put a, a stitch marker in that corner. So when we come back around, we'll be able to see it. All right, and again, skip over the chain two, go to the next stitch in the front loop and continue around.
next stitch is right here. We're almost around there. Nope. Oh, yes, we are. Only have one more side to go. skipping over this to go to this one that's our last corner so in the back of that is the back loop of the previous row so what we're going to do is we're going to chain yeah chain one and then we're going to single crochet in that same one Alright, now we're going to go into the back loops of all those front loops we just did. And we're going to put a single crochet in the back loop. All the way around. So first of all, let's go to the corner. So I can tell you what we're going to do there. see it leaves a ridge as you well know we've been doing this border the same border th through all of the squares I like to think of it as we're sh we're framing framing our work our creativity our artistic creativity I love it okay so let's alright so when we get to the corner that chain two we're going to put three single crochets in that chain two and then you're going to look for the back loop and continue around and just keep going so um, it will it will look like this then um, let me oh. all right so here we go there it is just continue all the way around make sure you're putting one single crochet in the back loops and in those chain two um, corners you're going to just put three single crochet in those and then continue around okay so I'm going to leave you to it I'm going to finish mine off camera and um, until next time I will see you and have a great day bye bye now